Hey Plyes enthusiasts, I'm Emmy Cole of Plyes Expanded and I'm coming to you from Snowmass, Colorado. Today I'm going to take you through a progression of exercises doing teaser from its simplest form to its most challenging form. So I'm going to begin this series by placing a spine corrector on top of the carriage and we're going to start out with our hands with the straps but we're going to face the back of the machine. So I'm going to place my hips right in the crease of the spine corrector and let my legs rest over the barrel. I'm going to place my hands in the smaller of my two straps and I'm going to lean backwards just to start out. So for teaser, I'll turn my palms up and as I let the carriage come back towards the springs, I'm going to straighten the legs up into my teaser position and then relax back down into the start position. So there's a lot of support from the spine corrector which makes it an easier way to start out with this exercise. Next, to take it up a notch, I'm gonna turn around so that I'm seated on the spine corrector still, but facing the other direction. My hands will still go in the smaller of the two straps. And I begin by relaxing over the barrel with my legs in shelf position. Palms are gonna scoop to come forward as I enter that teaser V. And then legs come back down into shelf as I relax back over the barrel and the arms go back. So again, lots of support from the spine corrector, which just helps us get acclimated with this difficult exercise. Next, I'm gonna take the spine corrector off and we're gonna do similar renditions of the exercise, but lying on the carriage portion of the reformer. So I'll step into the well and grab my straps, and then I'm gonna sit over the shoulder rest and scoop back quite a bit, because we're gonna start out lying on our back with the legs in shelf, palms up, and now as I let the straps bring me forward, the legs will come up into the teaser V, and then I'll relax back down into the shelf position. So I'm getting some assistance from the straps, but there's still a lot of balance involved to maintain that teaser V. Then I'm gonna turn around facing the traditional way for doing teaser. So I'll lie down with my head in the headrest. And my hands will be in the smaller of the two straps. And I wanna give myself a little space from the shoulder rest just so they don't rub. So I'll start with the legs and shelf and the arms out to the side. As the palms come forward, I'm scooping up into the teaser B. So now we're into a more traditional teaser and then the arms scoop to lower back down into shelf. I'll place my straps down because the advanced version of teaser is using the long box. So I'm gonna place the box over my shoulder rests and then I'm going to grab my straps and have a seat on the long box. So because when we come up to the teaser B, we want our hips to be totally supported, I'm only going to come about two thirds down the box and then I'm going to lie back. So my head and shoulders will not be supported and I will have the hands in the smaller of my two loops just so the straps are a little shorter. So starting with the legs in shelf and the arms out to the side, I'll keep the palms up as I scoop and come up into the teaser V. And then I will relax back down to the mat. One final challenge with this series is to hold the V as we scoop the arms back and forth. and relax back down. I hope you've enjoyed this series of taking teaser from somewhat easy to very challenging. For more information, please visit www.pilatesexpanded.com. Thanks for watching.